Hello everybody, welcome to today's video here with me. I have Edmund. Hi Edmund. Hi, hi everybody. Yeah, hi, great to have you today. <laughs> Thank you. Right, you've been making massive improvement with your singing, right? And actually what we're gonna um, learn today is breathing. Mm -hmm. All right, so guys, we're gonna learn about breathing and singing. A lot of people um, don't really know how to apply the right technique in breathing, right? And so they asked me, um, is there any breathing exercise or any lesson on breathing? Yes, there is. In fact, yeah, breathing works exactly the same way it does when you talk. Okay. But sometimes when we sing, we think it's a totally different thing. We have to engage different muscles or a different kind of technique. No. You see, when you breathe in, your viscera expands, mm -hmm. right? And when you breathe out, it contracts. It's exactly the same way when you sing. So when you sing, have the same mentality, all right? That's just an overview. Okay, so to start with, uh, breath supports your sound. Mm -hmm. So it's very important. Breath supports your sound. This sound we're making when we're talking. Basically, um, sound is produced when the air comes out of your lungs. Mm -hmm. And the air, when the air is coming out of your lungs through your windpipe, it's not sound yet. Isn't that amazing? Because sound is actually produced by two objects vibrating, right? So when the air comes out, what are these two objects that vibrate? It is the vocal cords, the vocal cords right here. So they are like this. So when the air comes out, it slams against the vocal cords and they go like this. So in the reason why you can reach really high notes today is because you apply the right breathing through technique. Mm -hmm. Anybody who sings with technique, basically, if you have lessons here, you end up singing with technique and your breathing will be good because that's what um, technique singing is all about, the right breathing as well. It has it encapsulated inside of it. All right. So when the air is coming out, it causes your vocal cords to vibrate, right? But when you're going higher, you know, a lot of people kind of engage the wrong muscles, right so when you when they're going up they push so hard they release too much air and they end up struggling so today we're gonna learn the right technique all right then the next thing your tone and pitch are created by breath as well the tone you sing with uh your pitch produced by breath um what do you understand by um tone um ed so tone. is that like the depth of the um of yeah. the sound that you're making yeah yeah Death is a characteristic of tone. For instance, I there was a time I was practicing different kind of voices okay. because I learned that this instrument here God has given us, it's just amazing. We can create different tones out of it, different sounds, okay? You can, um, you see, um, sometimes you see one person um, after you watch a cartoon or animation, mm. right? You find out that one person did five characters yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you find out maybe one says hello yeah. how are you <laughs> right or maybe yeah i'm feeling good <laughs> or hey i know i can't sing <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you go hey when are you coming back you see so many different tones you can produce and they are all supported by breath and how many voices do you think you get have you ever tried this <laughs> I don't know, but I've, I've, I'm impressed that I can get to the high notes now with singing, which I couldn't do before. So, mm. yeah, and that's all through uh, technique, isn't it? Technique, yeah. exactly. Yeah. The, the right breathing, right? So, um, Ed, you used to have a challenge, right? You always sing the low octave. Yeah. In fact, Ed had um, just barely one octave when he started. So, if, you, if someone is singing a high, maybe a guy, is yeah. singing happy birthday to you you just comfortably sing the low octave yeah. because you don't normally reach the high one okay but because of the right breathing through technique he can comfortably sing really high so these some of these exercises we do like a breath con um lip rolls yes yeah. lip rolls the nay 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 the ma ma mas the ba ba bas all these ex exercises they help aid breath control so talk about singing we have different tones in singing mm -hmm. you can have the breathy tone mm -hmm. happy birthday to you happy birth why is it called breath uh breathy tone because there's a lot of breath coming out mm -hmm. 
at the same time and a lot of people use that as singing especially beginning of maybe slow a slow song right they want to build up in energy so they start at a soft place piano pianissimo or mezzo piano yeah. one of the soft areas right and when they get to the chorus they build up and you have a more connected vocal cord to give you a more connected sound happy birthday to you happy birthday to you which is quite different from happy birthday to you this is like singing with falsetto yeah. that's the tone we actually call falsetto that's one tone and then another one you know there's a lot of things you can do with your voice that will give your voice character yeah right so that's where we are heading to yeah. because um first of all we expanded your range extended your range so you can have more comfort when you sing mm -hmm. right and now the next thing is giving your singing character yeah we started learning uh, dynamics and you're really improving with yeah. dynamics uh, the song you sent to me earlier that was amazing i think you've really mastered it so that's good that means now we can move to the next thing right we're going to talk about vibrato yeah in subsequent um lessons or maybe later today all right but we're talking about tone right now how to add some character to your singing um character is like excitement and you like telling people hey listen to me like they can go solid night holy night and the ladies will go solid night holy night and so on a lowering of the larynx all right that's one way but if you need a brighter sound you don't have to lower the larynx but that's just one tone mm -hmm. Another tone you can have, and then another one. There's so many of them, but right now what we're talking about is breathing. Another tone, actually, that came to my mind is growling. Happy birthday. Mm. Have you ever heard singers sing like that? Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday to you. I wouldn't advise singers to actually have done that, right? <laughs> because what you're doing is you're pushing a lot. You're applying so much pressure on the outer and inner muscles. There's a kind of compression going on to give you that distortion. It's a distorted sound, yeah. right? So when you're singing that, mind you, you're going against um, technique. Mm -hmm. You're telling technique, I don't need your help right now, <laughs> <laughs> right? And you know that could be damaging to the voice if you do it for a long time, all right? So anyway, let's go back to breathing, all right? It's about releasing air in the right quantity to help you sustain all the way through. And it also helps with control. Singers that have control, they have good pr breath control as well. All right? So the third, the third thing is singing with technique is the best way to properly release air. Like I said before, you see, when you do your lip rolls, so when I go like this, I'm currently in my chest voice. And in your chest voice, right? The whole length of the vocal cord vibrates mm. and that causes air to come out much more right what happens when you get to someone like this <laughs> lipros is an amazing exercise because you don't have to think about um zipping up your vocal cord which is yeah. what should happen yeah but it zips up by itself the lipros is has an inbuilt function that helps you do it automatically right so when you're going up you don't sing with the whole length of the vocal cords vibrating from top mm -hmm. to bottom singing technique means the vocal cords zip up to third of its length leaving just one third to vibrate and you find yourself singing high notes with freedom yep so um that means if it's two thirds zip up that means um you're managing your air mm. your air won't run out but you see um a lot of singers um some singers rather um the challenge they have is they sing high notes with the entire length of the vocal cords vibrating and that releases so much air mm. and it struggles so much um to catch up when you sing with the proper technique or with the proper way of breathing yeah your breathing is from here your viscera or your stomach yeah so you should feel the expansion here the side the front yeah not here no pressure should be mm. applied here so you shouldn't you shouldn't really feel tension here so 
just put your hand like this around your tummy and we can just try that okay just inhale you see no tension here it's not even noticed here right mm. now exhale that's it okay so that's where air begins from the lower part of your body your diaphragm so you need that support when you sing to have a really really good sound and when it gets here that's when the sound begins never forget that all right so we're going to do a little bit of exercise all right mm -hmm. first off we're going to do a okay it's a very good exercise because with you can't release all the air at once yeah. but if you go ha ha the air runs out almost immediately yeah. right yeah. so we're going to try and I'm going to time you, Ed, okay, all right? fine, yeah. <clears throat> and see how far you can go. So for 10 seconds, take in about two seconds of air. So mm -hmm. that's enough. You hold it, right, until you're ready and we release, right? So are you ready, Ed? Yeah. Okay. So take in air. Let's do it together. Two seconds, all right? One, two, go. Hold it. Now release. Excellent. That was 10 seconds. So this is how you build your breathing. The next time, go for 15 seconds. All right. So Ed, we're going to do that again. Reset. Okay. So for 15 seconds, maybe three seconds will be enough. Yeah. All right. Now you ready? Try it with us. All right. So taking air for three seconds. Let's go. One, two, go. Hold it. Don't release it. Now three, two, one, release it. That was amazing, Ed. <laughs> 15 seconds is not that easy, all right? 15 seconds is amazing, but with this, start from there, okay? To feel how to gradually release the air, this helps. Now we're going to go, shh. Mm -hmm. Ready? So we're going to do that yeah. for 10 seconds again, taking breath for two seconds for that. All right, let's go. One, two, taking breath. Now hold it. Let's go. Brilliant. Thank you, Ed. Now next we're going to do um, engagement, okay? We're going to engage the mm -hmm. tummy for support when you yeah. sing. And this is very important for you as well. All right? So because sometimes when you hit a note, you find find out that it's not supported properly. Yeah. And that's why it breaks. You're not able to hold it yeah. steady. Yeah. But when you get the support here, you're able to hold it steady. That's actually what support means. Mm -hmm. It's like you go into a big house or hall and you mm -hmm. see pillars. Yeah. yeah the yeah, pillars really, provide yeah. support for the structure. Yeah. 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 But we okay. need to go ha ha ha. So you ready? Let's do it together. One, two, go. Ha 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 the notes are separated, all right? Legato is actually the opposite of it, which means they're connected. So with legato, you go, ha, all the hands are connected smoothly, mm -hmm. right? We're gonna go, ha, 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 eight times, all okay. right? You ready? So let's do it together. One, two, go. Ha, 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 ha. That's it, eight times, mm -hmm. all right? So you can start like that and start developing your voice. Now, before we end, all right, I want us to now go into proper words, okay? okay. First, Ed, we're going to start with your chest voice. You're going to go a do for me, right? Okay, yeah. Do. do. 
I want to see how far you can go this time. Okay. Yeah. All right. So can you sustain more than 15 seconds? Because that seems to be your <laughs> record right now. Yes, so, yeah. okay. <laughs> That's your current record. All right. Yeah. So let's see if he can break his current record. So this is no. So are you ready? No. Yeah. Taking enough breath this yeah. time because there is no limit. All okay. right. You can sustain as much <laughs> as you want to. All right. Okay. So in yeah. three, two, one, go. Go. goodness that's incredible i told you he's good with his breath control he's good with breath it's because of being a swimmer but that's why <laughs> oh yeah 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 swimming. tell us about it so swimming helps yeah, with breath control, yeah, circulation yeah. tell us a little more about how how does it really work yeah well i think well when you swim you've got to have proper breath control because you know you've got your head into the water and then you're coming out so yeah i think mm. i'm quite good at doing that and i can do Mm. do quite a long distance um underwater so it's probably from practicing that and then wow. it's the same kind of holding breath thing isn't it so yeah, yeah. well yeah. the much i know yeah. about singing it helps with um uh, swimming it yeah. helps with singing because your whole body seems to be working mm -hmm. yeah exactly your yeah. arms your hair yeah, coordination isn't it yeah coordination yeah. Yeah. amazing that was really impressive 31 seconds <laughs> <laughs> wow so that was on your chest voice all right yeah so now we're not gonna go to your mixed voice area and okay. see how good you are because sometimes you just have to check every area mm -hmm. every vocal transition your chest voice your mixed voice your head voice because sometimes you could be powerful and strong in your chest voice mm. but weak with breath control in another register okay so it's good to check everything Ray. So That's here right, we yeah. have a ring and we need a connected sound, okay? Okay. All right, so you ready? Yeah. So as long as you want to sustain. So three, okay. two, one, go. Ray. Not bad at all. <laughs> Not bad. 17 seconds. Impressive. <laughs> okay. Impressive for a high note. This is the area a lot of singers have challenged. You know, when they hit the high note, mm -hmm. they uh, they release too much air because they're singing with the entire length of the vocal cords vibrating. Mm -hmm. So to reach 17 seconds means technique. You're singing with technique. Yeah. If you were singing with technique, trust me, you wouldn't even reach 10 seconds. You won't even reach it or you struggle a lot now that is your mixed voice yeah shall we go mm -hmm. to the head voice now <laughs> right let's try this one <clears throat> want to go <clears throat> you got it you got it okay all right so let's time you okay so if taking breath don't forget see one thing about singing you need to anticipate what's coming yeah so it's like a chess game <laughs> all right in chess game do you play chess by the way i haven't really no no okay no. in chess game you need to see four moves ahead or three yeah. moves well i could only see one <laughs> <laughs> so i'll leave it to the chess champions and chess players all right but in chess game i learned to be a really really good player you need to see like four moves ahead yeah. or three moves ahead yeah. all right but at least the thing is, you'll see one move ahead. Mm -hmm. The next thing you're going to sing, right? Because if you know what you're going to sing and you know it's going to be a long one, yeah. you take in enough air. The reason why we say air, take in like two seconds um, intake of air yeah. for a 10 second sustaining is because of how long you need to sustain. For 15 seconds, you needed about three seconds intake of air or four seconds, right, yeah. to sustain that long. Yeah. So the same thing when you're singing. When you're singing, you know the next line is coming, and this is a really long one, all right? So you take in enough air to help you sustain all the way through. Because if you take in, like, a short quantity on air, of air, you go, ah, 
once the air runs out, you go like this. Oh, oh, yeah. to continue. Yeah, yeah that's a. Uh, that's an interruption that distracts that you know it doesn't sound right because that part of the song is not so nice right but you need enough air to sustain it all the way through so like like i said before you need enough air to sustain all the way through mm -hmm. now we're doing the fa, fa, and we need your jaw dropped okay mm -hmm. your jaw could be dropped but your tongue should be flat all right and your you know um back of your throat should be kind of enclosed a little, not mm. open. Fa, no, Fa! Mm. no we yeah. don't need yeah. it. Um, that kind of open throat with this, okay? Okay, so go. Fa, uh, head voice. Yeah. You ready? Okay. So taking breath. In three, two, one, go. Fa. Not bad at all. <laughs> 12 seconds. Okay. So we need to still keep improving our control of the yeah. breath control when we sing the mixed voice mm -hmm. and the head voice. Yeah. So take note of that. Yeah. yeah. You have very good uh, breath control with your chest voice. Do you know your highest range? I can't remember. Was it F sharp? Something. I think it it's that. Yeah. It's yes. Like this that. F. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's that, that's that's yeah. pretty high for yeah. someone who had only one octave before. Mm -hmm. So guys, everyone keep practicing. Yeah, these things work. Anyone can sing. As long as you can talk, you can sing. So have a nice day and see you again later. So thank you, Ed. Thank you thank so much you. for coming. Yeah, no and hopefully see you again soon. Right? Thank you. Thank Bye, you. everyone. Bye. You can now extend your voice to reach really high notes. <laughs> Eliminate voice breakage, become a more confident singer. With you, I Develop a rich tone quality, have more control when you sing, and so much more by purchasing a copy of the best and most affordable voice training lesson from our website called Singing with Freedom. Go to www.thevocallexicon.co.uk and click the shop page and select the singing lesson called Singing with Freedom. Congratulations! Spirit of